Welcome back to NGTV Plays Earthbound, featuring myself, Spencer, and co-host Matt. We went and bought a teddy bear. Also got ourselves a slingshot. Sorry you missed that, but we figured it was kind of like... We also had to change it from 60 frames to 30 frames, but that's beside the point. Um, we should go to the park. And I say that just because we haven't been there yet. Oh, we went to the park and I got owned. Oh, that's right. Well, we're better now. We have a teddy bear and a slingshot. Did we go to the park? Yep. I'm about to fight this guy over here. Like, well, I, maybe I house. beat him. Wah -ha -ha. Why don't we chat later after we've locked... Is it locked arms? Locked, locked horns. Locked horns. You can shoot him now. That's funny. Oh, he stole the skip sandwich. Take that, Everdread. <laughs> okay. This game has a lot of really interesting Stop takes. Stop stealing my shit, motherfucker. On, uh, on attacks, you know? Yeah. They're not, so, like, a lot of them aren't just attacks, so, like, stats, you know, effects, and it's, it's pretty interesting. Can I get my shit back? Whoa. Jesus. That was All pretty right, good. So level 14 was a shit level. Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost. Nothing will change that. I, yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to, to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget... Okay. So I gotta go find Paula and save her from apparently being sacrificed. This game just took a dark turn. What's in the water? I wonder if you can fish in this game. A lot of weird people selling stuff here. Two clams, okay. What did that do? <laughs> do we even have clams? Yeah, it's, he meant two bucks. Oh. <laughs> I thought, like, legitimately clams was a thing. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to this guy. Hey, man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. Defense spray, wow. Rust promoter. Already have a copper bracelet. Oh, it's, oh, that's a copper bracelet. Come back and buy that when we have an extra 300 laying around. Oh, this guy has some, looks like some health. Oh, it's an IT shop. No. You're not buying it. buying it. I bet you I won't. This guy obviously sells sweet rolls. Oh, lots of different kinds of, a lucky sandwich. Hmm. Cup of coffee. Damn. At least we know they're cheap, though. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what effect they'll okay, have on you. Okay, it said that I'm like I have my shit. Like I'm out of stuff, but that guy sold two things for me, and I only bought one thing. Oh, the ruler didn't get used. So I have one bread roll, one hamburger, two hamburgers. Okay. Which hamburger? Still stacked? not the best. Yeah, I got what you're saying. Anyways, I got to go to where? Uh, down to the tunnel or Peaceful Valley. Yeah, Peaceful Valley. We got ties to burglars and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Yeah. I mean, he has got info on burglaries. Oh, shit. Secret. What? Oh, it's like a way to get into the park faster. Tucson. We got this name because we weren't first. Wow. That's funny. Oh, uh, there's a sign over to your right. Uh, the, the one on the far right there. It has pictures of two guys on it. I wonder if that has any information. I looked over the time for the video, and I thought it said 34 minutes. I'm like, what? What has happened? Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway 5. Wait, I think the Runaway 5 is those guys who kidnapped Paula. So 
So he's hinting that we... We had, if we if we knew somebody, we could just get in with I that. I love standing in queue. Queen, quiet, quick. Try to just go inside the Chaos Theater. I like how they're all standing in line to buy tickets there, but they can just go to the department store and buy them there. This guy's not gonna let me in. You wanna see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through this door, please. Oh, nice. Thanks, bro. The runaway five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> okay. I kind of wish they had like a thing where it would tell you it was the last thing that they could say. Yeah. Maybe they flash or something. Or they just don't say anything. I don't have a present. I guess I lost my ticket, so I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. How come that bitch asked me if I wanted to buy a ticket then? Maybe just let you know that they don't have any. <laughs> we, that's right. We are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house at the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Paula, Jesus, she's popular. Do you play some sports? If you do, that's fine by us. Tucson Athletic Community. Hmm. What? <laughs> that's very strange. I have a feeling we need to leave towards three, possibly. Uh, you is, know? Isn't the park up here? Well, it's like Peaceful Valley something. Isn't this it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It didn't say so when we went there, did it? It didn't say anything specific. So did I just like miss that place? Up here? Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. It didn't say anything specific. Nice. Well, apparently we just fought somebody and won. And they gave us a cookie, but we can't carry the cookie because we're all out of room. So we're just going to throw the cookie away. That's like when you, like, you, do you, are you sure you don't want to teach this Pokemon to move? Are you yes. positive? Yes, I don't want to teach, like, Tail Whip. Okay, so watch out for these, these mushroom dudes. Try to find Peaceful Valley Park. Sometimes there's little, like, nooks and crannies where I think you can go in. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not going up to, oh, wait, wait, go to the right. Looks like there's like a space there. No. Oh, I guess not. Alright, let's go towards Threed. Yeah. Oh no. I did not see these guys. Yeah, I think they respawned. Or they, they, they spawned. Okay. So 11 damage. Oh, to the they teddy bear. The, I think the teddy bear. Uh, no. Oh, thank God. Did not work on the teddy bear. I think they attacked the teddy bear before they attack you. It's like a. Pretty well, interesting. One guy didn't attack the fucking teddy bear. <laughs> That's true. He didn't. It's just kind of a ridiculous line. That one guy didn't attack the fucking teddy bear. For a second there, you were uh, you were not you were not there. So head, dude, they're blocking the way, man. There's no way to get past them. Make a break for it. Damn. Okay, well, at least, at least this time they didn't get, you know, the first attack on you. Oh, you know why they attacked the teddy bear? Why? It's because the teddy bear is behind me. That's interesting. No, oh, nope, never mind. Oh. <laughs> I was well. like, man, that is... At least I get 50 bucks. <laughs> oh. Okay. So we gotta go back over there. 50 bucks. We're kind of low on PP, so I think we have to sleep again. Can we sleep from the, uh... Dude, what the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Well, who's this girl? Did we even talk to her? Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yes. Sure. Tucson is a modern, clean hotel. There is a hospital and a wonderful chaos here. There is a pole star preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of the town, you find the peaceful Rest Valley. East of the town. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, tee -hee, I don't know anything else. 
Oh, you're so cute. No, no. So you gotta head to the right. Okay. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. That's the hospital? No, oh, the hospital's up the street. Yeah, right. exactly. My bad. Shit. Sorry, this, that place looks like a hospital. It's all white and it has, you know, it just looks like, a, I mean, look at this. It's not even the same. But f for a second there, I always kind of think it's a hospital. Which way is up? That really, like, is pretty crazy. It, it changes. See, it just changed again. Now it's doing diagonal. Come here. Come here, fucker. Perfect. And it's great, you know, because it's even harder because this guy at, at first looks like he moves around a lot, so. The game's like, hey, hey, I'm gonna mess with you now. Should we sleep before we go out? I think I can heal in here. Yeah, but it costs money. Oh, it costs, it costs money. money no yeah, but what. does healing in here, um. I think healing here heals uh, unconsciousness. I was gonna say, does healing, you know, affect your PP? Because that'd be great. We, yeah, we never talked to these guys. Oh, well, what do I hear? I wonder why he hurt his leg. He didn't go inside the rooms. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> like the best items in the game is just like yeah, it's just like right there. You want the plasma rifle? I just had this plasma rifle. Nobody ever comes in this room. <laughs> uh, that's what Kingdom Hearts does. They give you the ultimate weapon in the very first chest that you see. Really? Yep. What do you... Can you use it right away? You have to craft it. Oh. But they I, give you the recipe. That's crazy. It gives you something to work towards. Alright, so let's go check out Peaceful Valley. I'm gonna save first. It sucks that they start you way up there, you gotta go all the way back down. What can you do? Hey, Dad. Oh, you can call it Escargo Express. I don't remember what they do, though. They deliver you a package. Oh, he tells you how much... You see, I, I, I can never read it fast enough to tell what... Um, or, like, I always miss the line right beforehand, and he says a number. Yeah, that's how much money you have. No, no, after that he says another number, and that number is how much you have until the next level. Yeah, and like I didn't, I didn't realize that that's, that that's what that number was. So we're going east. Yeah, so I gotta head to the right. I think you have to go towards three and then head east. I think you're right. And hopefully we can get back and save in a in a good amount of time. Full star preschool. I guess we can. Looks like we gotta fight this guy. You meet the unassuming local, they said unassuming local guy? Is it? Seems like people attack the teddy bear, that's kind of nice. I think the other guy didn't attack the teddy bear because we didn't have the teddy bear yet. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I don't know then. We fought this guy at the thing and we, the first thing we did was have the teddy bear. We fought him this episode, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> hey, orange kid, this is... Oh, that's that really popular guy. Let's go talk to him. What's up, orange kid? A little Greetings. yellow to me. I am orange kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, but I'm not worried. So I'm not worried, you know. I'm working on this machine. That would really help you in Peaceful Valley. Peaceful West Valley. You're actually going to help finance the project? Oh, goody. Would it be okay to get $200 of my materials? What? You don't have that much money? Perhaps you shouldn't be yapping about having cash then, buddy. Hey, why don't you go suck a dick? Whoa. <laughs> Damn. No one fuck with me, man. I'm gonna go get 200 bucks and give it to him. And that'll be the episode, probably. You can get the money from the department store. I wonder if you can... It'd be nice if there was like an ATM just hanging out somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, that crazy lady. Some of these people have really weird, like, oh, scary shit. faces. You know? Yeah. Like, clown face. <laughs> I 
I wonder who you have to know to get inside of the, uh... Like, I don't know why I want to get inside of the Chaos Theater, but I know that because there's a chance we can get out inside there without a ticket, now I just want to. Oh, that's what the payphone looks like. I thought that might have been the payphone, but it looked like a weird... Yeah. I don't know what it looked it was. like something from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I mean, it does, doesn't it? It does look like something from Dragon Ball Z. Is there eventually, can I get a credit card? and Maybe, like, get my credit score up? Just charge everything. I think yeah, you have the only a reason card. why I'm doing this is because uh, he said, oh, this will really help you in Peaceful Valley. Yeah. So. No, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. We gotta go talk to the Polestar Preschool as well. No, we don't. Get some information. I talk to as many people as possible, dude. This is an RPG. It doesn't really feel like an RPG, though, you know what I mean? No, yeah, it feels more arcadey. Oh my god, yes, we've heard of you. We, we just we... talked to you, man, and then you told me, don't brag about money. He's like giving us his spiel. He's like doing a, a, a sermon or a... What do they call it when they when, they, when someone does a... A speech? About, like, usually f financial speech? I don't know what it's called. It's not a sermon. Super orange machine. I call it Suporma. Okay. So he's gonna make the Suporma for us? No, well, he's he has it ready. Oh. Just gotta get rid of something. I like how he says, Oh, you're gonna fund the project? As if he's not done with it yet. And it turns out he does have one. So you're just buying it from him basically. No, I don't. It's like the game knows that you're gonna talk food. I fucking got rid of the exit mouse. Don't get rid of the exit mouse. No, 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 no. What else should I get rid of? Get rid of a uh, bread roll. I'm just gonna drop the ruler. Dude, what if the ruler is like really good? I go buy another one for two bucks. That's true. Nesca, the Suporma. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Now, what does this thing do? No idea. Super Orange Kids Invention. The full name is the Super Orange Machine. See if you can, uh, equip it. I don't want to accidentally use, you know what I mean? No, just go down to... Just go down to equip. No, I guess it's just something you use. I wonder if he gets rid of, like, the enemies on the screen or something. Maybe. I don't think that you can make it just to Peaceful Rest Valley from this screen. Oh, wait, you might. Oh, buddy. I mean, check. Hey, that girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out the Polestar's preschool. I told you I'd go talk there. <laughs> Well, we know she's here, so... That's true. I mean, I don't have to talk. <laughs> Avoided. Oh, they're gone. Dude, you're gonna have to fight those guys. Just kill them quickly. Oh, nice. Game of the system. Peaceful Rest Valley ahead. Proceed through cave. What is up with these older games and having caves? You know this stuff? Oh, come on. God damn it, Bellsprout. Front the mobile sprout. I would sigh them. Or should we save it? It's a really hard choice. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good, good. Why do you even mention it to us if we, if we narrowly missed? I just want to know if I hit or not. Okay, you gotta take this guy out of this turn. Oh shit, I forgot that it... Uh, okay, good. Thank god. Nice. Good, good. What? He stole the PP from the teddy bear. Good thing the PP doesn't matter for the teddy bear, but... I mean, if we had a psychic teddy bear, that would really suck. 
This teddy bear is really good. Yeah, I'll always buy a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. Teddy bear for life, man. Stop moving, because you dead. That's right. 228, nice. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. See you next time. Peace.